Carlos Chris Voss here from thechrisvoss.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Come on, something really cool here. This is the Pelican from pelicancases.com. That's pelicancases.com. These guys make insanely secure cases, uh, cases that can uh, take hits. Uh, they can be water tight, crush proof, legendary Pelican lifetime guarantee, dust proof, extreme rugged protection, and they have them for laptops and all sorts of other toys, I think for cameras and stuff on their website. Be sure to check out their website at pelicancases.com. This is the I-1075. Uh, it's a hardback case, the ultimate protector for iPad and iPad 2, uh, which I believe that should work for um, our iPad 3. Is what that should mean. Uh, so it should work for that, the new iPad, uh, and all that good stuff. These guys uh, make things so you can actually drop this from three feet and it will survive and protect your inside wares. And also, it will go down to three feet underwater. So let me do some extreme testing here in a bit. Stay tuned. Uh, you can see the back here as we take a look at this. Um, you can see here it's got this thing where it talks about tested for impact of three feet and submersion for three feet comes with a shoulder strap integrated easel uh, where you can put the thing in different uh, modes we'll show you that here in a second it's got an easy open latch iPad cushion insert uh, it's got a watertight gasket on it and as you can see here you can store accessories like keyboards mice um, power supplies, power cords, earbuds, all that good stuff. This is insane. It even has an automatic purge valve that keeps water and dust out while balancing air pressure. It's a crazier what. So what we're going to do is open this baby up and see what's inside of it and throw it off a cliff. No, we won't do that. But I'm kind of tempted to. Actually, should we throw it off a cliff and see what happens? Actually, it says it's only protected for three feet, so that probably wouldn't be bad. But it definitely is interesting, and you should look at their website and some of the cool stuff they have on there because uh, some of the stuff they've got on there is insanely rugged. And uh, so let's take a look at what we got here. Um, it's a nice, simple design case. Um, not too much to really look at. On the front, we've got a front. It's got a nice, smooth case. It looks professional. Looks like it's got some pretty strong, powerful hinges there. Give it a thump. And let's see. I guess we have some base, uh, some base elements here for putting this on something. And uh, you can see up in here, there's some kind of... Uh, that's the thing that regulates the air inside of it. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this. Okay, so we'll pop that open. And then this, uh, I guess, regulates the air and uh, balance of water or something. We'll, we'll read more about this so we know what we're talking about. So you can see it here, and looks like it's got uh, an area here where you can put stuff. Looks like we've got a shoulder strap that's coming with it. Looks like we also have, it's got a nice soft back to it. Looks like we also have some... Uh, strap instructions, some of the Pelican protector case care and instructions for it, a little uh, guide to some of their other products that they have. Let's see what else is in there. Oh, yeah, they, they got some tough cases. The flashlights, rack mount cases, lighting tools, uh, LED lighting area. This looks like a lot of stuff you'd use in a construction site. Uh, some of their mounted cases for rack mounting, uh, just crazy stuff. For cases okay so we got a nice soft back that's of course is going to protect your iPad let's take a look at the bottom here and the bottom here it this is all soft and very hard kind of rubber foamish rubber slash foam I'm not sure what but uh, of course you could put an iPad here or uh, I'm sorry a keyboard here and your iPad would go up here you can also set it flat and uh, and I guess this has got a pretty good seal on the outside of it to make sure you don't get water in. In fact, yeah, I can see that here. If you look really closely, it's got a really tight seal around the outside that's designed to uh, give it that three-foot drop and, of course, go down to water three feet. So uh, pretty interesting stuff. It's not that heavy, fairly light. It's about the weight of an iPad 3. Um, let's take a look. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a place where you can put, of course, the nice charger that you need to have for your iPad. I've got an iPad 3 that's in here now. 
all of this area that you see here, these three consoles, and actually some of this here, um, you can put stuff in, like, of course, we can put our wiring and all that good stuff. We can put that in there. Uh, we put different earphones and all that good stuff in there, and uh, all of it will go with it. Uh, we don't have an iPad key, or an, I'm sorry, an Apple keyboard to put in here, but from the pictures, an Apple keyboard can fit in here, and you can set your iPad down on top of it, and then seal the case. Now the back of this has got a beveled edge that fits very nicely with the beveled edge of the back of the iPad. So it can hold everything very securely. Okay. So now, what it also has, is it has the ability to hold your iPad, let's see if we can get this right, it has the ability to hold your iPad like this. Of course, you can do this in portrait or landscape where you can use it as a stand, as it were, in wherever you go and do your work. And of course, you can work on the uh, keyboard that you would normally have here. So you've got that as a stand. What's nice too is you can work on it like this where you can just have your iPad flat. You could be able to do all your stuff um, and everything else that you want to take it do. And of course, when you're done, you can fold everything down. Of course, your keypad would go in here and protect you from some of the other stuff. I mean, if you really wanted to, I believe you can get away with this. Let's see if we can get away with it. Yep, you can get away with it uh, where we don't have a keypad. We'll just go ahead and make sure that the face isn't being on stuff that can scratch it. Our back should be fairly protected. So, really brilliant with what they've done here. Uh, I, the uh, um, In different ways that you can utilize this. We're going to play with this for a couple of days. And we might do some extreme testing, so we'll be back in a second. Okay, folks, so we're going to have fun. We're going to dunk my iPad 3, my beautiful, vivacious, wonderful, gorgeous iPad 3. We're going to dunk this baby in this water. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. No, I'm just kidding. We're actually going to use the Pelican case that we are reviewing. This is the case itself, if you would. And we're going to go ahead and open this up. And we are going to see if it sinks or floats. If it floats, well, eh, it's just an iPad, right? Some poor kid China made this for me. What we're going to do is we're gonna actually going to start the video. I think it'll play. I don't think there's anything in here that will turn it off. That being said, let's this get is going to be replaying my iPhone uh, comparison with the Galaxy Plus video. So that's playing in there. You can actually still hear it. So if you hear blur, 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 you'll know why. So... Let's dunk an iPad, shall we? In the Pelican case. Now, this is supposed to be going down to three feet. We don't have anything that big because uh, normally, you know, we just don't do anything like that. If we had something like that, you'd have to worry if we were putting bodies or something in it. I was watching Breaking Bad show over the weekend, you can tell, huh? Um, so we're going to sink it, and will it float? Now, that is probably the one nice thing about this is that, is that uh, it will float which is really cool. So if you were to dunk this in the water and uh, say you're on your boat or something or, I don't know, you're by a pier or, I don't know, on a lake, if this were to dunk, you'd be able to find your iPad because it would float, which is really good. So we'll get down here for a little while, give it a little shake, and uh, let's see. Let's see if, it, see if it worked. Did it really do what it said it did? I can hear my iPad. Can you hear my iPad? So that's always a good sign. Um, you can tell the front and looking inside, the look at that. Plastic. The back, back has kind of a steely metallic Our, uh, uh, issue. Our we'll video is still playing. Second where it's just a piece of and uh, everything is dry inside. Look at that. Amazingly dry. The gasket that works around the edges here that protects the device kept all the water out. So that's pretty freaking awesome. So I'm very happy. Thank you, Paint, uh, Pelican Device, for making sure that uh, my iPad did not become a submersive uh, device that I would have to return to Apple for repair. So very cool, very hard case, very rugged. Um, so uh, we'll continue on here. Okay, so overall we're very impressed with the Pelican i1075 hardback case. It's durable. It's crush-proof. Lifetime. Uh, 
Pelican lifetime guarantee, dustproof, watertight, all that good stuff. The really nice thing about this case, too, with all those givens, is that you can use it as a portable office where you can easily, you know, put up your iPad, type here, do your work, and then you can close this and know that it's going to be secure. You can put the shoulder strap up on here, and be able to throw this over your shoulder so you can comfortably carry it. Great for maybe long trips or if you're a traveler. You're a student, all that good stuff. The nice thing you know is going to protect it. Take my word for it. I've broken two $800 iPads in my time. All it takes is one drop on the corner and you're done. You're completely freaking done. Um, <clears throat> now, it, you may just have to change the screen, but it's expensive. It, it comes to the point where you're just like, why don't I just buy a new one? Um, so, uh, being an, making an investment in something like a Pelican case is a very smart thing to do. These guys make awesome SLR camera cases, all that good stuff. Be sure to check them out on their website. You can go to pelicanprogear.com or you can go to pelican.com. That's pelicanprogear.com or pelican.com. They have a number of different websites, actually. Um, and they build incredible products. In fact, they build everything from stuff for the average person all the way up to super pro camera cases that you can use to protect your gear. So uh, be sure to check them out. The name brand leader in quality when it comes to storage cases and being able to transport your devices and keep them safely uh, out of harm's way. So be sure to check it out. I really enjoyed it. It's a, it's a pretty lovely device. And the fact that it's a mobile office makes all the difference for me, too. I love that. Thanks for coming by the Chris Be sure to check back often.